reuse of fecal sludge in India has been going on for a long time. Even uh, traditionally, we have been using it in our farms. We have had sludge farms in Kerala, Punjab and Haryana, where these sludge farms are using fecal sludge coming out from septic tanks and pits. अपने यहाँ पे अलवर शहर से हूँ और हमारे यहाँ पे अलवर में सात टैंक हैं जो हमको हो गए आठ दस साल यहाँ पे धंधा के साव ये सफाई करते हुए तो कभी कुंडे हमको कच्चे भी मिलते हैं कभी पक्के भी रहते हैं बहुत से और ये इसको हम खाली कभी नाले में करते हैं कभी खेती में काम के लिए करते हैं क्योंकि खेती में इसमें पैदावार अच्छी होती है मैं टैंक चलाता हूँ और हम कुंडे साफ करते हैं तो कुंडे का हम जो मलगम रहता है उसको हम नाले में ले जाते हैं सीटी से बाहर काफी को नाले में डालते हैं काफी जमींदार डलवा लेते हैं काफी नहीं डलवा वो इसलिए नहीं डलवाते हैं कि बदबू मारती है और जो डलवाते हैं उनके लिए फसल के लिए फायदा है और मैं खुद भी डालता हूँ मेरे खेतों में ये मेरे खेत हैं इसमें इसमें तो मैंने बोने से पहले डाला था इसमें बोने के बाद में डाला है खूब बढ़िया फसल होती है कोई दिक्कत नहीं treat it in such a way that these characteristics or these parameters are reduced to a level where it can be reused and does not cause a problem when uh, during the reuse application Devanagari is a small town of, of population 30000 and uh, it's in historical town also we have we ha don't have underground drainage in this uh, town so people uh, mainly depends on single pit for their uh, toilets and uh, they depends on municipal uh, municipal honey sucker for uh, dislodging their toilet uh, vehicle will bring the sludge to our treatment system and then first what we provide is that we provided a tank as we know fecal sludge has a lot of solids content compared to the waste water so what we did was that we uh, took all the fecal sludge in a one tank we allowed it to settle down so once the settlement happens it is happen like within a 3 to 4 hours what happens all the heavy solids get settle in the bottom there will be clear separation of happens between the solids and then water the water which has gone from the collection tank or uh, after sedimentation that can go uh, it can be treated with a diverse approach so by end of this uh, planted drain bed you will find a water which is an reusable quality which can be reused for irrigation purpose if you could give little more treatment you can even go for a toilet flushing level then the solids which is accumulated in the tank what we did was we allowed it to go in digested in a biogas settler so biogas settler is nothing but it's a tank where you have provided some uh, area for collecting the gas so that you can reuse it as a fuel either a cooking or you can even uh, use it as a lamp uh, purpose also lighting purpose so you can get a biogas stove or a lamp so that you can reuse it then the another part what it comes is also solids so once the solids are put into the biogas the, there will be a digestion happens that solids you can take it and then you can dewater it 
basically. So here dewatering is nothing but a, you use a, a filter media, a bed with a filters. So you can allow it for a dewatering. So after 10 to 12 days, the complete solids get dewatered. Again, uh, once the solids which comes out from the drying bed, it is in a reusable quality. But what is need is that there is some kind of pathogens which can live up to two to three years that has need to be treated. From the literature and some of the practices, what we know is that by doing the co-composting of your solid waste and then also with the sludge, you can get a remove of all these pathogens and also you can get a nutrient rich compost which can actually enhance the quality of the soils and you get also much more yield from the farming land. We have we are getting three byproducts from this plant. One is uh, treated water and a uh, small amount of biogas which we are planned to use in uh, watchman's kitchen and uh, we will get uh, some uh, composted uh, sludge uh, which we are planning to use uh, co-compost with uh, solid waste and we will use it as manure for uh, farmers land. In two-thirds of uh, India, which is semi-arid, where the groundwater table is low, where the sun is hot and the number of rainy days very less, every farm can become a fecal sludge treatment plant. You can imagine a honeysuckers taking the sludge to the farmer's field, well-designed compost pits receiving them, and using the famous Bangalore method of composting or the Acharya method of composting, this can be converted to nutrients and applied on the field. Indian soil lacks carbon and lacks a lot of the nutrients like NP and K. Both carbon and NP and K can easily come from the fecal sludge onto the land. If we persuade the farmers to grow the right palette of crops, those which are not root-based, those which are not greens, but those which are distanced from the soil like banana or papaya, then we can build an insulation for any disease transmission. By working with the sanitation safety plan along with farmers, I think we will have solutions for fecal sludge management between cities and rural areas. The type of reuse uh, should depend upon level of treatment of the septage. And this should be the main criteria for deciding these appropriate septage treatment technologies. The risks associated to uh, transfer of pathogens can be addressed through barrier approach. The WHO guidelines for safe uh, use of uh, wastewater, excreta and grey water uh, also uh, accept uh, you know, uh, low levels of treated septage for variety of agriculture uses. Restriction on use of crops that are eaten raw like radish and carrot. The application in plantations like grape and banana where there is a safe distance from soil maintained. Ensuring a withholding uh, time period between the application and harvest to let the pathogen die off. Use of personal protective equipment. Safe food preparation methods like thorough washing, uh, peeling and cooking. Fecal sludge is a good soil conditioner provided we take care of pathogen and helminthus eggs. So either we treat it to the level that the pathogens die or we use a multi-barrier approach. But the bottom line is that fecal sludge is a good resource and we should use it as a soil conditioner.